No. Oh my god. I have never seen anything like this. Oh, the smell. <laughs> we received this headset in recently, and it smells awful. So, let's see what's going on with it. Every so often, maybe once a quarter, somebody will send us in a headset that is so far beyond repair, not even I want to fix it. Most of the time, these are due to things like, um, let's call it, for the sake of the YouTube audience, let's call it animal waste is inside of the uh, headset, and that can range from, you know, liquid waste to even things like cockroaches and bugs that have found their way inside the headset. It's not common, but it does happen. Um, as you can see, I'm wearing gloves because I'm afraid to touch this thing with my bare hands. Let's just go ahead and crack this open and see what is going on inside. Before I go any further, I do have to note that there is some sort of residue and film just around this, and the customer sent this in for a motherboard repair, so the headset doesn't turn on, doesn't boot, doesn't do anything. I'm suspecting liquid damage, and I think I know what the liquid is. Alrighty, now we can pop out our face gasket here. Oh my god, well there's something in there. I guess we're just going to keep going, I'm afraid. Well that just came off. Look at that, that proximity sensor just, oh, oh. <coughs> it just came off and there's something there. I don't consider myself to have a weak stomach, by the way. I consider myself to have some resiliency toward this kind of thing. This is something else. I don't even know if we're gonna be able to get some of these screws out. Look at that screw. What is that? What is that in there? That's, that's wrong. All right, last one here. Kieran, I don't know if I can do this. Oh my gosh, okay, all right. We're almost there. Okay, all right. I'm gonna have to sanitize all these tools after we're done. No. <laughs> Karen just left. She couldn't do it. Oh my god. I have never seen anything like this. Oh, the smell. <laughs> so, just so that we're clear, this is waste of some sort. It has to be. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I've had enough. We're just gonna. What do we do? <laughs> I think in all the time that we've been doing this, I've been repairing headsets for like three years. I've only ever, this is probably only the third one with this particular foul problem. How you do this to a headset, don't get too close to it, by the way. Oh my God. Oh, I want to know how you do this to a headset and you send this in with a straight face and you're like, yeah, it just needs a motherboard replacement, I think. I just want to know it's what just, it is. It's just not powering up. Oh, I can tell you what it is. I'm not sure that I want to say it on camera, but I can smell what it is. Oh my God. I don't know if they know that. It's their kids. Oh my God. Their daughters, I don't know if they know. So in a case like this, I really just have to reach out to the customer. There's not much to save. There's not much to repair here. Everything's impacted. I mean, you know, I'm sure that if you if you were really dedicated to it, you could come in here and you could clean all this out and you could replace every component. But we're talking about a, a $200 headset here. Is it worth all the time and labor and replacing every single component for for this? Ugh, I'm not cleaning it off. Oh, I mean, oh, for my tools and stuff. Yeah, I know. It's awful. The smell is so bad. Just bringing that in here made it smell better. For this particular customer, we're just gonna have to reach out to them and let them know that this is beyond our ability to repair and suggest that this is, unit is thrown away. I'm not sure that we can mail this back in good conscience. 
I would have to, yeah, I would have to read the actual like rules and laws on on the postal service, but I'm pretty sure you can't send this back. I would, I don't know that I would have sent this to us. I know I wouldn't have sent it to us. I think in all the time we've been doing this, I've only ever seen two this bad. Well, there was something similar and then a mold one. Oh, the mold one was bad too. Yeah, that's right. So anyway, I guess I really don't have much else for you guys. I just wanted to show you what a worst case scenario is. If, if this happens to your headset, I wouldn't recommend sending it in. I wouldn't recommend getting it repaired. This is one of those very few circumstances where the cost to fix something just outweighs the cost to replace it. And unfortunately for this customer, we're going to have to let them know. Even if I could do something about this, I really just don't want to for my own sanitary reasons. We'll probably try to offer the customer a refurbished headset. I don't usually sell just whole units or refurbished units either, but a lot of times in these instances, I'll just say, hey, uh, it's, it's not something we do a lot, but would you like just a refurbished unit uh, to replace your current one? Because I feel like I can't send this back to you in good conscience. If you guys have any thoughts or questions or comments, please uh, leave me a comment down below and uh, please give us that like and subscribe. It helps us out, helps us grow our channel. We will see you guys on the next one. Oh my God, it's just, it's, it's not coming off. It's not clean enough. We need more, more Clorox. Might have to report this to the Environmental Protection Agency. It'll never be that clean again. <laughs>